OK, uh, so this week we will try to collect tweets and also visualize uh, network data from the tweets uh, by using Gaffey. So Gaffey is a free software that is great to visualize and also analyze uh, network data. So first, let's start Gaffey. And we need to install two plugins so, so that we can collect tweets and also we can create uh, a circular layout. So here I already downloaded um, Gaffey. Uh, again, to run the Gaffey, you have to have the Java installed first. So once you have the Gaffey installed, let's go to Tools and also Plugins. And here you can see so you can check for updates to see if there are any updates available. If yes, and I always recommend uh, updates those uh, plugins. And also now we go to the available plugins. And you can see those are a lot of plugins that uh, we can use. OK, and so for example, for the layout and also import, etc. So the one that we are looking for, so the first is a circular layout. So because we want to use this layout later. And the second one is an import plugin, which is called Twitter Streaming Importer. So that will collect tweets by using the stream API. So let's check both plugin. And let's hit install. Next, accept the terms and also install. And you you also need to restart the Gaffey so to um, to use those two plugins. So let's start restart now. Okay, so now the Gaffey uh, is not being restarted. Okay, so once it is ready, so let's go to Windows, and let's bring this uh, Twitter streaming importer uh, okay um, so here this one will use the stream API to, to collect tweets so for those of you who took data mining class you know that we can use rest API and also we can use stream API and it also asks that you should have the access tokens okay so the tweet API tokens to collect tweets uh, so you can go to tweet a developer website to act to request tokens okay and for this class I already posted the tokens on canvas so you can use the tokens on canvas and here you can see you need to start a new project to use this um, plugin so let's go to fail and let's create a new project so now um, this one is enabled so let's click credentials and here we need to copy and paste the tokens here. OK, uh, so I'm going to copy and paste uh, from canvas. All right, so now I just copy and paste the, the, the tokens um, that into Gaffey. OK, and I can hit OK. OK, all right, so now we have to define uh, the queries that uh, for our lab. So let's first to choose a keyword. So uh, uh, you can choose any keywords that you are interested. But here, let's choose COVID-19. Let's add. So we are going to select collect tweets that are talking about COVID-19 in the real time, because this is using the stream API. Uh, you can also specify the users, locations, etc. So if you remember that for streaming APIs, you need to provide the bounding box. So let's leave those as a blank. OK, so we are just interested in the COVID-19. Uh, let's also add a filter for the language. So let's say we want to filter the tweets to English only. All right. Uh, next, let's say we want to connect the network. So we want to use the hashtag network so that if those hashtags are mentioned in the same tweets, those and there will be a connection between those hashtags okay so now let's hit connect okay and you can see now we have more tweets that being added so we have more nodes being added okay and you can see right here we can see the number of nodes and also number of edges so uh, let's disconnect when we have let's say about uh, 50 nodes okay so uh, because if you have too many nodes and 
it will be a little bit harder to visualize and also analysis. So that will be a little bit uh, complicated. Okay. All right. So now let's just disconnect. You can see right now I have uh, 56 nodes. Okay. And if I use this query marker and if I click those points, you can see those are the hashtags. Okay. And they also have the timestamp. Okay. And there are also other types of the network, like for Twitter network. So you can feel free to try those networks. And they also have um, those statistics that we can calculate. So for this one, this is an undirected network. So let's calculate some statistics. So first, let's calculate a degree. OK, so you can see the average degree is 3.2. So that means on average, one hashtag are mentioned together with other three hashtags. Uh, let's also calculate the connected components. OK, so that is undirected. And here we have uh, 14 connected components. And we can see within each connect component how many hashtags are there. Okay, and now we can try to visualize our network. So let's go to the appearance. And first, let's change the colors, go to partition for the nodes, and let's choose connect components. Okay, and you can choose different colors. Okay, so you can generate different colors. And let's apply. So now if those hashtags are connected with each other, so they will have the same colors. Now let's change the size for the ranking. So because we only calculated the degree, so let's uh, visualize the degree. So let's see the minimal and also maximal. We may need to try those different numbers. OK, we also want to label those hashtags. So let's click this T and we want the size to be scaled to the to the size of the node. Okay, you can see the most important one that, that has highest degrees is coronavirus, which makes sense. Now let's try to choose different layout. Okay, so here you can choose a layout that you like. And because we already installed the circle layout, circular layout, so I'm going to use the circular layout. And the order of the nodes, I will use the connected component ID so that uh, if they belong to the same connected components, so they will be located close to each other. And now if I run it, so this will have a circular layout. And of course, you can see there are a lot of overlaps. So here, let's say we want to expand the, uh, the network a little bit. Uh, we also want to adjust the labels. OK, and let's say we also want to try to not overlap. OK, so this may not be if, uh, sufficient. So let's also manually adjust the network a little bit. So let's change this one to this icon that is called drag. OK, so let's drag um, this. Uh, coronavirus and also pan pandemic. Okay, and you can see we also have those small tiny hashtags. Okay, and here we have those hashtags that are highly are strongly connected with each other. So here, the weights of those adages mean that how many times that they have been mentioned together. Okay, we can see those hashtags has been mentioned together a lot. OK, and so you can drag, adjust those layout a little bit. OK, so it is always uh, a little bit tricky to uh, visualize the, the network. And here we can see those three hashtags are also uh, strongly connected. 
because they also always have been mentioned together. Okay, and there are also something that you can uh, adjust for the size. Uh, for example, if you want to scale the size differently, and you can choose those different scale lines. Okay, like this. Okay, uh, so I'm going to use the default one, so that is a straight line. All right. Uh, you can see at the bottom, we can also enable the timeline so that we can see the change of those uh, hashtags. So first, we have defined intervals. I guess the intervals are seconds because we uh, collected the, those tweets within several minutes. So let's run the time slide. And now you can see that at different time, how those network look like. Okay, uh, so once we are happy with this network and we can go to preview and also we can f uh, export our visualizations. Um, you can also go to filter. So for example, if you have too many uh, nodes that uh, you want to filter out, so you can go to filters and also depending on um, the variables that we have, so you can filter the, the nodes based on the degrees. Okay, so for example, if I just want to show the nodes that have greater than three, the degree that are greater than three, I can fill out those nodes so that make uh, the network easier to uh, interpret. Okay, so now let's go to preview and let's refresh. Okay, so it may, might be a little bit tricky, so if you zoomed out, too much and you may be you may not be able to see the entire network so you can always reset the zoom okay so that will see the network uh, we also need again to show the labels one more time you can see the label if you think the labels are too big uh, so you can either go back to change the size of those labels here or you can change the size of the labels and also font here so let's say five okay and you can also see whether or not you want to uh, scale the edges. So let's say I want scale and want to see that the, the smallest is 1, the biggest is 10. Okay, and now you can see how they are connected with each other. Uh, you can also choose the preset. So for example, if I want to use a curved. Okay, and if I want to use a straight. Okay, uh, so let's here, let's go to use a default one. Okay, so he, here, let's see, I'm uh, happy with this uh, visualization, so I can export this uh, network. Okay, so uh, let's say we want to export this one to our OneDrive folder. So this is uh, lab 11. And here you can choose different formats. So I'm going to export as a PNG file. And this is the hashtag network. OK, so that I just exported the hashtag network. Uh, we can also save this project. So let's say we want to save the project. Uh, let's also save that one to our uh, OneDrive folder so that we can reopen this one later. Okay, so let's call it lab12 and this is for the hashtag. All right, so that is for our hashtag network. Uh, let's create a new project. Okay. And let's go to overview. So this time we want to connect the user network, so which will be directly the user network. So here let's choose the user network. So for the user network, this will be directed. 
So that means that if one tweet user mentioned the other users, so that will be a direction from the user to the mentioned users. Let's keep the keyword still as COVID-19. Let's also keep the language filter to English. OK, and now let's connect. Again, to simplify our data, so let's see uh, we disconnect when we have more than 15 users. OK, and now you can see those arrows. OK, and let's make queries. So let's select this user. We can see the username. OK, and also time. OK, and and the country location. And also let's see the mentioned user. OK, and also the time, etc. All right. Uh, so similarly, let's do some calculations. So in this case, let's calculate the connected components. So here we want to use a directed. OK, uh, so that number of the connected components we have. Uh, let's in this case, let's also calculate the agent centrality so that agent centrality will tell you that which users are most influential. So let's run it and let's choose directed. OK, now let's change the visualizations. So let's go to visualizations. Let's go to partition. And we are using the connect component ID to show the colors. Again, you can change different colors. OK, apply. Uh, so if we have more than, let's say, eight uh, groups. So the top eight groups will be assigned different colors and all the other groups will be just assigned gray colors. OK, um, I think that's that's a good idea that um, so that uh, because we it's very difficult to see more than five colors or more than eight colors at the same time. So we want to limit the number of color, colors that we are using. And for the size, OK, so if you're interested, you can see how the in-degree look like. So in-degree means that the user has been mentioned a lot uh, by the other users. And out-degree means that the user are actively mentioning other users. But we, we do want to look at the edging vect centralities. OK, so those are the most influential users. Uh, let's also label those users. OK, scale to the node size. And go to layout. Again, um, personally, I prefer use a circular layout, uh, but feel free to use other layout that you like. OK, and also I use the connect component ID as the order. OK, and let's expand the layout a little bit and adjust the labels okay and try not overlap again we may need to manually adjust uh, the layout a little bit okay uh, sometimes i want to see that uh, what users have the strong connections? OK, so we can see those two users have very strong connections. And I want to try to make sure that the try to make that those are not uh, overlapping with each other. OK, and those are a lot of users that they are uh, connecting with each other. So they are matching it with each other a lot. OK. Here are some other uh, influential users. So you can see if they have same color, they belong to the same connected component. OK, um, 
I think that's it. Um, all right. So again, if you are interested, you can also enable the timeline. OK, I think that's a pretty cool function. OK, you can see when they are posted. So when we when they have those such connections. OK, and now let's go to the preview. So that's we are going to export the layout. Again, you can still you can also fill out those nodes that based on those marrows like their in degrees, out degrees, edge max centralities, etc. OK, so here let's refresh. For this directive network, if you want to see those arrows, so you have to make sure you are using this default street. OK, so that will show those arrows. And let's also show those labels. So uh, you can choose a little bit smaller label. OK, and let's say that we want the uh, thickness to be scaled with the weight. OK, and sometimes if you are not happy with the current layout and you can always go back uh, to adjust the, the layout a little bit. OK, uh, so let's refresh. OK, see, I'm happy with this one and we can again export this layout. So this is the user network. And we can also save uh, the current project so that we can use this one later. Again, this is lab 11. That is user network. OK, so now you can see in my OneDrive folder, so I do have those two network uh, networks being exported. Export. Um, so this is a hashtag network. You see, we still have some overlaps, so you can always go back and also adjust the size of the labels. Or you can adjust the layout so that to avoid those overlaps. And to be honest, uh, when we visualize a network data, so it is very hard so that you don't have any overlaps. And this is a user network, so we can just try our best to visualize to highlight something that we think are interesting. 